Okay. Now that we're done with the buttons, let's go into his combos. All for one. In general, there's one combo that's a bit difficult that I like to usually go for, as is bread and butter. Um, I guess just quick side note, if you don't have any meter, the most damage you're probably going to be getting is not that. Yeah, about 7,300 damage, which is pretty good for meterless. No dash cancels and no assists. But where he gets more damage is if you do a dash cancel, obviously. So and as you may have seen in there, after the um, his tilt quirk, his quirk two started up, I was holding down his quirk one to charge up his projectile while I was in the move, which is quite hard to do. And I actually have to put both of my hands onto the button pad to do that. So while I'm mashing quirk 2 with my right thumb, I'm holding down quirk 1 with my left thumb. So, and it will look like this, and, oh, I think we already had it charged up then. Wait, it'll look like this. And then you can throw out the projectile, and you can dash cancel up the projectile to get lots of damage. Oops, you want to make sure you don't press that button too early. Okay, I have it charged up, dash cancel. And I like to dash cancel into the grab. And it'll look like this. One, two, three, four. And it's about 9,000. Usually it does about 9,000, 10,000, or about 10,000 damage, usually. Like, depends on how many hits of the um, big projectile hit, and that just depends on the wall and stuff. So it's not really you control, but yeah. Does about 9,000, 10,000 damage, which is really good, because a lot of characters usually get 9,000 damage. So you know, it's pretty good, pretty decent, easy damage. And you can extend it a bit more if you want. You can go. Oh, I didn't get the dash cancel. Sorry. One, two, three, four. And then dash cancel and do this again. And then that is an easy 11,000 damage combo, which is a lot more than 9,000 or whatever I got before. So he can get 11,000 with two dash cancels, and that's pretty good damage. That That's above average, I would say. And you, you can actually make that a little bit more, I believe, if you cancel into the other thing. So obviously, if you have the projectile already charged, you don't need to do the charging during the combo, which can make it a bit easier. There we go. 11,200 damage, two dash cancels. And it's not that hard to hit. So, even though it took me like five tries. But it's a pretty simple combo, and I can hit it usually consistently online. So, yeah, it's a pretty good combo that way. Um, he's pretty easy to do like simple combos with. Like, you can do three hits into his armor move or something. But I found uh, that combo that I was doing there. Like, if you want a simple combo, you can do three hits into armor move, two hits into this. That does 7,000 damage, but if you want the high damage, you have to do this weird charge stuff into the projectile, dash cancel, this. And into it again. So actually, I changed my mind, they are quite hard input-wise. They're pretty difficult compared to other combos in the game. Um, but it's pretty rewarding. And if you just go into training mode for a little bit, then they're not that complicated. Um, yeah, that's some basically... I'm sorry to make this a short one, but that's basically all for one in a nutshell. He's really good at controlling the space. He has really overpowered tools, like with this projectile. Um, this teleport thing is really good for getting damage, because it's practically a combo starter online, because no one just guards it. So you can get easy damage off of it. That wasn't optimal or anything, so it didn't do that much. Um, he has a good red attack, so you can go, you know, do some attacks. 
and then go into his red attack. If you do. You can reset by doing something like that with his quick red attack. But yeah, he's very... I'd say he's a very... Free, oh, I haven't even shown his plus ultra, sorry. You can add damage to the end of his combos by um, adding plus ultra since you can do it in the air. So I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. Then you cancel into plus ultra 1, and he gets an easy 16,000 damage combo, which is really high damage. I'd say that's above average for a plus ultra 1 combo. And yeah, now that's about all for one in a nutshell. You know, it's plus ultra 2, I'll leave it with you. Um, a high damage combo into that is probably just this. But anyways, while well, this goes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm glad you guys suggested all for one because he's actually a really fun character. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown, even though it was a bit shorter than others. And yeah, the overall is really dominating, just like he is in the manga or the anime. Hope you enjoyed watching!